I'm back again, Juvi. I have had a question from someone asking for some interview tips for the position of teacher aide. And here are some interview tips that I have for that person applying for a teacher aide position in a high school, but this can also be applied when you aim to get hired in a primary school in New Zealand. This is specifically tailored for someone who has experienced teaching in the Philippines and has recently moved to New Zealand. Number one, familiarize yourself with the school, its mission, values, and educational approach. Understand their curriculum, extracurricular activities, and any recent initiatives and achievements. This will demonstrate your genuine interest and commitment to the school. Number two, educate yourself about the New Zealand education system, including its principles, policies, and practices. Learn about the national curriculum and how it differs from the Philippine education system. Show your willingness to adapt and contribute to the unique educational environment in New Zealand. Number three, Emphasize your experience as a public school teacher in the Philippines, highlighting the relevant skills and responsibilities you had. Discuss your expertise in supporting student learning, managing classroom activities, and collaborating with teachers and parents. Draw parallels between your previous role and the requirements of a teacher aide at the school you're applying in. Number four. New Zealand has a diverse multicultural society and it's important to demonstrate your cultural sensitivity and adaptability. Discuss instances where you have worked with students from diverse backgrounds or used inclusive teaching practices. Show your willingness to learn about and embrace the cultural diversity within the school community. Number five. Research the local community and gain knowledge about the place and its surrounding areas. This will show your interest in the local context and help you connect with the students and their families. Be prepared to discuss how you plan to contribute to the school and engage with the local community. Hmm. Number six. Ensure that you have a clear understanding of the responsibilities and expectations of a teacher aide in New Zealand. So basically, you will be working closely with the teacher that you will be assigned to work with. Be ready to discuss how your skills, experience, and passion align with the specific requirements of the position at that school. Highlight your ability to support the teacher, assist students with their learning needs like those having autism, ADHD, dyslexia, etc. and create a positive and inclusive classroom environment. Number seven, prepare specific examples from your teaching experience that highlight your achievements, problem-solving abilities, and teamwork skills. Be ready to discuss how you have handled challenging situations or supported students with diverse learning needs. Use the STAR method, situation, task, action, result, to structure your response and provide concrete evidence of your capabilities. Say for example, in the previous teaching role you have in the Philippines, you had a student with dyslexia who was struggling with reading and comprehension in the classroom. This student was feeling discouraged and falling behind in comparison to their peers. Hurry up! <laughs> what am I doing? What else do you think I'm doing? Recording. I'm not going live. Hurry up! Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Where am I now? It's gonna make a sound. Shut it, cause it's loud outside. Ah, make it Billy, I don't have the, the time is ticking. Say 
for example, in the previous teaching role in the Philippines, you had a student with dyslexia who was struggling with reading and comprehension in the classroom, and those students were feeling discouraged and falling behind in comparison to others. And as the teacher, it's essential for you to find effective strategies and accommodation to support their learning needs and foster their confidence. So, you have conducted extensive research on dyslexia and attended professional development workshops to enhance your understanding on the condition. And you've collaborated with the school's learning support team, the students' parents, and the teachers to develop an individualized education plan, or IEP, tailored to the students' needs, etc. Say so you've also fostered teamwork by involving the students' classmates in the process. And as a result, the students' reading comprehension skills showed significant improvement. They've gained confidence in their abilities and actively participated in class discussion, blah, blah, blah. So that can be a very good specific example that you can share. But just make sure you're going to be true about the stories you're going to tell. Number eight, dress professionally for the interview to make a positive impression. Plan your journey to the school, allowing enough time to arrive early. Punctuality demonstrates your commitment and professionalism. Nine, prepare a few thoughtful questions to ask the interviewers. They would normally ask you at the end to ask them questions. And if you do, this shows your interest in the role and helps you gather more information about the school and the position. Inquire about the school's approach to inclusive education, professional development opportunities, or any other relevant topics like... How would you describe the school's approach to inclusive education? How are the students with diverse learning needs supported within the classroom? What professional development opportunities are available for teacher aides in your school? How does your school encourage ongoing learning and growth for its support staff? And lastly, number 10, be truthful during the interview. It's okay to reveal your weaknesses as no one is perfect and be keen to get support to be better. Maintain a confident and positive demeanor. Speak clearly and articulate your thoughts effectively. Highlight your enthusiasm for working in that school and your commitment to supporting students' educational journeys. Remember to practice beforehand. Be yourself and showcase your passion for teaching and helping students succeed. Good luck with your interview. Kakite!